Hey there, so we are at the end of August and one of my favorite things to do at the end of every month is to go through my planner and I go to a page that is labeled victories. Now this page is the way I print out my planner. This page is on the other side of my monthly goals. So I would put whatever appointments I have, whatever big dates are coming up and I'm trying to show you guys one that isn't really filled in. So this is November. I hope you can see it. I don't think you can really see it. You can't see the details, which actually is fine. <laughs> this is November. So this section is where I would write all the different things that I have coming up, different goals, different appointments. And then up here is where I would note any particulars so it could be um um birthdays it could be important dates it could be appointments whatever those different things are but on the other side of that sheet it's very simply labeled victories at the top and at the end of the month what i do is i go back and i look at the things that i had planned for the month and I look at where I am with those things. And then I also look at other things. This is why journaling is also so important. So this is my journal. And throughout the month, every single day, I would have been writing. Now, this journal, I started in July. A journal, usually a journal of this size, usually will last me about three months. So we are at the end of August. And this is where I am. So I have this much left, which is about a little, yeah, it's about a third of the journal left for September. And as I've been writing every single month and I've been keeping in touch with my own thoughts and my feelings and my goals, I'm able to look back in here and I'm able to see where I've had aha moments, where I've had breakthroughs, where good things have happened, where things maybe have broken down, um, where I've been able to revisit my plans. And it's a great way for me to um, look back at not only what has gone well, but give me an indicator of what I need to work on in the coming month. And I'm working on setting up a new program for the ladies that I'm going to be working with from October through December. And in order for me to do that, one of the things that I need to do just as a woman for myself, because I'm not only teaching other women how to do this, but I'm coaching myself through life. One of the things that I believe is really important is gratitude. And it's looking back on what has gone well for me in the last month. And when I do that every single month, it really gives me motivation and it gives me confidence to move into what's next. September is going to be a month of deep reflection and recommitment and revisioning. It is the last month of my year, my personal year, because my birthday is in October. So for me, every single year, I start a new year on October, in October, rather. So that's something that I encourage you to do as well. Your new year doesn't have to be January 1st, like everyone else's. Your new year can be whenever you decide that it is. But regardless of when your new year is, I want you to look at every single month. And on the last day of every month, just take aside some time and whether you're doing it in a planner, like what I have here, or you're doing it in a journal, take some time to really write down, not just think about, but write down what are the good things that happened for me this month and remind yourself because it's so easy. It is so easy to get bogged down in all the things that have gone wrong and not remind yourself of all the things that are going right in your life. So I hope this helps. Blessings on your journey. I will talk to you soon. Bye.